Fedusa writes to the president of a toll road saga, and situation tense at New Bloemfontein Taxi Rank. I'm Lebo Changela with this news update. The Federation of Unions of South Africa has written to President Jacob Zuma to appeal for his intervention in the Houting toll road saga. Fedusa General Secretary Dennis George says, Cabinet is incorrect in its unilateral decisions of which company will improve our road infrastructure, how much money each vehicle category must pay to use the road, as well as how the revenue will be collected. George says Fedusa strongly believes that the concerns surrounding the Houting open road tolling system can be resolved by bringing the relevant social partners around the negotiating table. Fedusa is proposing that a social accord regarding the specific issue of the system be collectively drawn up and agreed to. The situation is tense at the newly constructed taxi rank in Bloemfontein as taxi operators are refusing to use the 400 million rand facility. They complain of a small entry and exit points and that the facility is unsafe to the commuters. A huge police contingent has been deployed at the taxi rank. This follows earlier reports that there was an attempt to burn down the rank. Hundreds of passengers are stranded as a few taxis are operating. Some of the roads near the rank have been closed. SABC Acting Chief Technology Officer Gelfard Gaussio has been suspended. The corporation's Acting Chief Operations Officer Claudio Musoneng says the decision has been taken pending an investigation into alleged irregularities. Garcia has held the position since November 2011. He's the previous general manager at the public broadcast a position he held for six years since September 2005. SABC spokesperson Kaza Khanyaho. Pending an investigation because of some serious allegations that were made against him. And that in itself doesn't necessarily mean he's guilty of anything. It's just a matter of allowing the investigation to happen and then finalize this issue, whatever way it will come up. And newly appointed municipal manager for the Greater Oswald Municipality in the Little Karoo, Tandeki Lemyamba, says the local authority is facing the challenge to differentiate between politics and administration. Miimba and three other senior directors have pledged to turn around the local authority. Watson has been dogged by allegations of corruption and maladministration over the past few years. In 2007, the municipality was placed under provisional administration. It's also had at least six municipal managers in the past five years. Miimba says this will soon change. There has been some challenge in terms of discipline within the administration, in terms of staff members and not drawing the line between the political and administration boundaries. So it's the one issue that we need to address. Thirdly is the issue around a good governance. The municipality is gradually improving in terms of all outcomes and setting up structures of good governance.